This is Richard Wolf from Democracy at Work with another response to an Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. And this one comes from Franz Sebastian Mathias. And it asks whether in a non-capitalist environment one could be assured of a more unbiased media, an opportunity to hear a diverse collection of perspectives and points of view, differences of opinion, in some fair and balanced way that would allow the public to be informed, to understand the issues, and to make its own preferences clear. And I think the answer is yes, that we know enough as the human race has progressed how to make the situation a lot better than what it is under capitalism. But the basic problem in capitalism is really not so much that the people who uh, determine the media have this or that bias. It's really a question of the social organization of the media, of newspapers, radio, television, uh, social networking platforms, and so on. Here's the problem in a nutshell. We in capitalism are supposed to believe, we have been taught to believe, that the capitalist model of how to organize an enterprise is some sort of necessary template, something that every institution in the society, no matter what it does or what its social purpose might be, would be best organized, you guessed it, if it replicated, if it reproduced the capitalist system. So, for example, we allow newspapers, the media, in most countries to be private enterprises. Moreover, private capitalist enterprises, whose bottom line as these enterprises will themselves readily admit, is profit. They're in the business to make money. And the logic of that is very clear. You do what enhances your profits, and you don't do what detracts from your profits. What this means is you try to cultivate the largest possible audience most of the time. You try to get that audience to stay with you so that you can sell advertising to other corporations, capitalist corporations, who want time to persuade your audience, your media audience, that they should buy whatever these other corporations make. In most societies, not all but most, advertising sustains the media, provides them with their profit. This then gives you a structure that dictates to the media what they are and are not going to do. And this is separate from whatever political or ideological biases happen to be in the minds of those individuals who control the capitalist corporations. Well, if you put together their individual ideological leanings with the commandment to maximize profits that goes with their being the heads of capitalist corporations, you're going to get the lack of diversity, the lack of controversy, the tendency to go with whatever the major power sources of thinking are that dis distinguish, sadly, our political uh, media landscape. What would be the alternative? Well, it's fairly obvious. Number one, the discussion of basic issues in our society. What are our social problems? What are the alternative ways of dealing with them? Having an open public discussion of these matters would, I would think, be essential to any society that wants legitimately to call itself democratic. 
And to do that means you cannot be beholden to the particular ideological perspectives of whoever had enough money to buy the dominant shares of a big media company. And likewise, you can't hold hostage the necessary democratic discourse to an entity whose number one priority, its bottom line, is profit. And we know how to do this. There can be social institutions that are open to public pressure through voting, through referenda, through all kinds of mechanisms that can allow a broad community to shape programming such that diverse perspectives are given time to make their points clear, are given the space, and given a rough equivalency one with the other to make their case to the public and to have those cases debated. We don't do that in the United States, but we could. There are a number of countries around the world where the power of the left wing in society has been strong enough so that there has to be a compromise between the capitalist imperatives of the media and the mass democratic requirement for a media. And so they have to have diverse programming, they have fairness laws, and so on, which, by the way, once existed also here in the United States. So yes, I think we can do much better than the biases built in, but that requires us to confront the contradiction between an open, fair, diverse discussion of basic social problems and alternative solutions and a profit-making capitalist system of owning and running media enterprises. This is Richard Wolff for Democracy at Work.